Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up voting on your Minecraft server. In order to do this, we will be using a plugin called Votifier. So let's get right into it. So first of all, we're going to need to actually install the plugin. So there'll be a link in the description to this website. We are then going to click download now. And then we're also going to need a vote listener. So also in the description, there'll be a link left to voting plugin. And then once again for this, you're going to click download now. And we'll also keep this in our downloads. Then go back to Pebblehost, then go to the left of the file manager, to the plugins folder, and then click upload, file, and then we're going to select our two plugins. We then click open, and then we'll start uploading, and there we go, the plugins have now both uploaded. We then click back, and then we'll restart our server. Once the plugins have installed, we're going to want to make an additional port. So go to the left, and then click on additional ports. From here, we're then going to click new port. And as you can see, we've created a port right here. We're then going to give it a small description. I'm just going to name this one voting. Then we want to copy these four numbers as we'll be needing them in the next step. So once you've copied them, click back, then go to the file manager. From here, we're going to go into our plugins folder, then into Votifier, and then into config.yml. Once we're in here, we're going to go to the port and change it from the default port to the additional port that we created just now. So mine was 8089. After you've done that, we're going to click save, we'll then click back, and then finally we're going to restart our server. Alright, so now our server has restarted, I'm going to show you how you can actually test that it is working. So we're going to go to the left and click on tools. From here, we're then going to click on vote tester. So we already put this in our IP, port and public key, so we don't have to do that ourselves. We can then put in our player name, which this is me, and then we'll click send test vote. And as you can see, it says thanks Strange Dad for voting on Pebblehost Vote Tester. So that means that it has fully worked. So now we know that you have set it up correctly. And then next, I'm going to show you how you can configure your rewards. And this will be using voting plugin that we installed earlier. So we want to go to the file manager, then the plugins folder, and then to voting plugin. In here we then want to go to rewards. We're then going to click create, and then file. You can call this what you want, but I'm going to call it real rewards. And then make sure you put .yml at the end. Then click create. We're then going to go to examplebasic.yml. And then we're simply just going to copy this whole file. So we'll click copy. Then we'll go back to rewards. And then we'll go into the file that we made. From here we'll then paste it in. And of course you can edit this to whatever you want. Bear in mind that some of the features such as economy, so money, will need a plugin like essentials. Or if you're doing permissions you will need a plugin like luck perms. However you can change all of these to whatever you want. If you're not sure what it is they have loads of useful notes that you can go through to help you understand what each one does. Once you've made your changes click save. And then from here we're going to go back to just normal voting plugin. And we're going to go into votesites.yml. And then from here, we're going to scroll down to the bottom, where it says every site reward. We're going to remove these brackets. And we're then going to type in the name of our rewards file. So I named mine real rewards. So once you've put in that, of course, you can look through this as well. Another thing that you're also going to want to change is if you go up a tiny bit, you can see minecraftservers.org and we have the vote URL. If you haven't added your server to a voting site yet, don't worry as I will show you how to do that later in the video. So to find it, go to your voting website, simply copy the link, and then paste the link in place of the vote URL. From there, save it, then you can click back, and then you can restart your server. So now Votifier is fully installed, and I'm now gonna show you how you can add it to a voting site. So for this example, I will be using minecraftservers.org, and we're then gonna click add a server. It will then take you to this page where we have to fill out some information. So first of all, for name, you're going to want to put your server's name. For the IP slash host, you're going to put your server's IP without the port. So to get that from the main menu, where it says IP, we're then going to select all these numbers before this colon. So I'll click copy, go back here, and then we'll paste it into this box. In the next box, you're going to want to put your port. And these are the numbers after the colon. So mine is 25585. We'll then copy that. And then we're going to replace the one that is currently in the box. We're then going to select Enable Votifier. And then for Votifier IP slash host, we're once again going to be using our IP. And this time as well, it's going to be without the port. So I put in our IP just like that. And then the box under is the additional port that we created earlier. So once again, go to the additional port menu. And this is our additional port right here. I'll then click copy. And then I'll replace the one in the box. And then for Votifier public key, we're going to want to go to our file manager. Then once again, we're going to go to our plugins folder, go to the Votifier folder, 
and then go to the RSA folder. From here we then want to go into public key where you want to select all of this. You then want to copy it and then put it in where it says Votify a public key. You do also want to make sure that you never share your private key with anyone. From here, you can then send a test vote to make sure it's working. And as you can see, the vote was sent successfully. Then we're going to scroll down. For your website, you can put obviously your server's website, then your server's Discord as well. And then if you want, you can put the country that your server is hosted in. And then finally, you're going to need a banner. So this wanted to be 468 by 60 pixels. So I've just uploaded mine as well. And then for the description, this needs to be at least 100 characters, so I'm just going to spam it in for now. See, the vote was... And then for the tags, obviously you pick the tag that your server is. So let's say my server is a roleplay server. If you want a YouTube video, of course put that there, and then select I am human. Then you can click add. And as you can see, our server has now been added. And this was the banner that I uploaded, and this was the description that I typed in. And as you can see, it says our IP and our port. It is tagged for roleplay. And of course, the country is the country that I selected. Alright, so we're now in our server. And if I do, slash vote. As you can see, we have our Minecraft servers.org. If we then click on this, in chat we've been given a link to vote. So we can then click on that, click yes, and we are taken to our page. We can then click vote for this server. We'll then select I am human, and then put in your Minecraft username. So that's mine. I'll then click vote for this server. And it says thanks for voting. And as you can see now I voted and went back to the server. It says you voted for your first time. Thanks for voting. And of course there is some messages that you might want to change here as well. And of course as I did just copy the example. It is going to say a few extra things as well. Which you'll probably want to remove. And as you can also see. It's given me a special diamond. And this is the default reward from the example. So obviously you can set this to whatever you want as well. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.